Developing tonight, the NFL now investigating allegations that Tampa Bay quarterback Jameis Winston and a female Uber driver claiming that he groped her in March of 2016. Winston denying the allegation, saying, quote, while I'm certain that I did not make any inappropriate contact, I don't want to engage in a battle with the driver. I regret if my demeanor or presence made her uncomfortable in any way. Here now, Guy Benson, political editor of townhall.com. Richard Fowler, senior fellow, new leaders counsel, both Fox News contributors. Uh, good to see you both. Richard, good what here, in the Ed. world is going on with the NFL? Hey, Ed. Uh, that is a good question. With this particular case, um, this Winston case here, I think we need more facts before we could actually make a judgment on who's right on who's wrong, uh, who's right and who's wrong. I think we have one story where it's her word against his word, and it's very hard to judge who's right. We have to figure out if there's more people in the car. There needs to be more evidence and more facts before anybody can make a particular determination here. And I think what the most interesting part of the story to me here is the fact that she didn't contact law enforcement, but rather mm -hmm. she reported it to Uber. And then she called BuzzFeed. Very weird. <laughs> Guy, I've uh, seen you tweeting about Northwestern, as I recall, so I know you're at least a bit of a college football fan. When Jameis Winston was at Florida yes, State, he got into a little trouble for allegedly shoplifting crab legs. The trouble doesn't <laughs> seem to stop. Well, I think that's the context of this now, this allegation that Richard just talked about against Winston at the NFL level. There was a big allegation against him when he was a student at Florida State, uh, the quarterback there, of forcible rape in 2012. Mm -hmm. Now, that was never proven. They ended up settling the case off to the side, and we didn't really know what the terms are of that. Yeah. But one thing that the New York Times discovered, Ed, when they looked into the case, was that Winston was never questioned by the police. And the school seemed to go out of its way not to really investigate the allegation very seriously. So I agree with Richard. We need more investigation. We should not jump to conclusions. Yeah. But there might be a pattern of behavior here with previous lack of accountability being a factor. Guy, real quick, and then I'll get to Richard. What about Roger Goodell and Jerry Jones? We're hearing now about this explosive phone call they had. Oof. This is, got, yeah. is getting pretty ugly. Well, I'm a Giants fan, so I'm triggered by any discussion of the NFL this year because we stink. Yeah, I agree. But if I read that story, uh, I read that story about Jones and Goodell. Setting aside the details, I think the number of off-field issues that have plagued the league for the last year yeah. have been dealt with in an incoherent and sometimes capricious seeming way to fans, and it's turning a lot of people off. Richard, I want to shift gears because I got to get this in. Today we learned about the world's first human head transplant in Spain. It was done on a corpse. Uh, it was successful, and now a surgery on a live person might be imminent. If you had one person in the world who you think could get a head transplant, who would it be? And you can't say Guy, by the way. Oh, I will, I, don't worry. I love Guy, but it won't be Guy. I would definitely trade heads with Oprah Winfrey. Easy answer. A head transplant? <laughs> you want her head on your body? Yeah, like I would take the brain. I don't know if I'd take the look. I would definitely take the brain. She's a very guy, smart woman. Guy is, is grabbing his chin. What do you think, Guy? Ten seconds. Uh, how, do, how does this work? Do you get to pick a brain? And a, Can I do like Charles Krauthammer's brain and Tom Brady's head? Like, how does this work? <laughs> yeah, or maybe Tom Brady's body and Charles Krauthammer's brain. I think that'd be a great combo. Both of you are awesome for coming on. Have a great weekend. If I don't talk to you, have a great Thanksgiving. Happy Friday. Same to you. All right.